Light Source Materials by Ishrita Barwa and Supriyanka Paul, Assam John Bosco University. Here is the plan of talk. The desirable characteristics of light source materials, wavelength and band gap energy of commonly used materials, energy band diagram of direct and indirect band gap semiconductor, light emitting diode, types of LED materials, laser, types of laser materials, conclusion and reference. The desirable characteristics of light source materials are as follows. It must have appropriate band gap energy. The response of the source should be linear. That is, the optical power generated by the source should be directly proportional to the electrical energy applied to it. The materials must be suitable for both N and P type semiconductor. It should provide sufficient optical power so that it overcomes the transmission losses occurring in the link. The light source must be stable, reliable and cost effective. Here is the table of wavelength and band gap energy of commonly used materials like gallium arsenide, indium phosphide, gallium phosphide, gallium indium phosphide and indium gallium phosphide. This is the energy band diagram of direct band gap semiconductor and indirect band gap semiconductor. The band gap is called direct if the momentum of electrons and holes is the same in both the conduction band and the valence band and an electron can directly emit a photon. In an indirect band gap semiconductor, a photon cannot be emitted because the electron must pass through an intermediate state and transfer momentum to the crystal lattice. LED A light emitting diode is essentially a p-n junction optosemiconductor that emits a monochromatic light when operated in a forward bias direction. The semiconductors used for LED manufacture are gallium arsenide, gallium phosphide, etc. The different semiconductor materials, also called substrates, and different impurities result in different colors of light from the LED. First, gallium arsenide. Gallium arsenide is a compound of the elements gallium and arsenic. It is a 3 to 5 direct band gap semiconductor with a zinc blend crystal structure. Gallium arsenide is used in the manufacture of devices such as infrared light emitting diodes, laser diodes, solar cells and optical windows. The main advantage of gallium arsenide is that it has a direct band gap, which means that it can be used to absorb and emit light efficiently. Due to its resistance to radiation damage, gallium arsenide is an excellent material for space electronics and optical windows in high power applications. The refractive index of gallium arsenide is 3.3 and the radiative recombination coefficient is 7 into 10 to the power minus 10 centimeter cube per second. This is a list of the basic electrical parameters of gallium arsenide. The breakdown field is equivalent to 4 into 10 to the power 5 volt per centimeter. The mobility of electrons is less than equal to 8500 centimeter square per volt second and that of holes is less than equal to 400 centimeter square per volt second. The diffusion coefficient of electrons is less than equal to 200 centimeter square per second and that
let of holes is less than or equal to 10 cm square per second. The electron thermal velocity is 4.4 into 10 to the power 5 meter per second. And the hole thermal velocity is 1.8 into 10 to the power 5 meter per second. Indium phosphide. Indium phosphide is a compound of the elements indium and phosphorus. It also has a zinc blend crystal structure. Indium phosphide is used in high power and high frequency electronics because of its superior electron velocity with respect to the more common semiconductors silicon and gallium arsenide. The infrared refractive index of indium phosphide is 3.1 and the radiative recombination coefficient is 1.2 into 10 to the power minus 10 centimeter cube per second. Here is a list of the basic electrical parameters. The breakdown field is equivalent to 5 into 10 to the power 5 volt per centimeter. The mobility of electrons is less than equal to 5400 centimeter square per volt second and that of holes is less than equal to 200 centimeter square per volt second. The fusion coefficient of electrons is less than equal to 130 centimeter square per second and that of holes is less than equal to 5 centimeter square per second. Electron thermal velocity is 3.9 into 10 to the power 5 meter per second and whole thermal velocity is 1.7 into 10 to the power 10 5 meter per second. Now gallium phosphide. Gallium phosphide is a phosphide of gallium. Gallium phosphide is used in the manufacture of low cost red, orange and green light emitting diodes. Its refractive index is between 4.30 at 262 nanometer UV, 3.45 at 550 nanometer green and 3.19 at 840 nanometer IR range. The infrared refractive index is 3.02 and the radiative recombination coefficient is 10 to the power minus 13 centimeter cube per second. The basic electrical parameters are given in this line. The breakdown field is equivalent to 10 to the power 6 volt per centimeter. The mobility of electrons is less than equal to 250 centimeter square per volt second. The mobility of holes less than or equal to 150 centimeter square per volt second. The diffusion coefficient of electrons is less than or equal to 6.5 centimeter square per second and that of holes is less than or equal to 4 centimeter square per second. The electron thermal velocity is 2 into 10 to the power 5 meter per second and the whole thermal velocity is 1.3 into 10 to the power 5 meter per second. Laser. Laser is a device that emits light through a process of optical amplification based on the stimulated emission of electromagnetic radiation. The term laser uh, stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Characteristics of laser. Laser is highly monochromatic. Monochromatic light has a very narrow range of frequencies. That is, it is only made of light of one color. It is highly directional. Laser light is emitted as a relatively narrow beam in a specific direction. Laser emits light coherently. That is, the wavelength of laser light are in phase in space and time. It emits narrow beam width, that is, a very focused beam. It has a very high output power. Types of laser. On the basis of their sources, lasers are of four types. Gas lasers, 
semiconductor lasers, solid state lasers and liquid lasers. Gas laser, helium neon. Helium neon laser is a four level laser. Its wavelength is 632.8 nanometer in the red portion of visible spectrum. It operates in continuous working mode and it was the first continuous laser. This is the diagram of helium neon laser. Helium neon laser consists of long and narrow discharge tube of diameter about 1 cm and 80 cm long filled with about 1 tor of helium and about 0.1 tor of neon. Energy band diagram of helium neon laser. Helium atoms are efficiently excited to label 2s1 and 2s0. These labels happen to be the metastable state and hence helium atoms excited to these labels spend sufficiently large amount of time before getting de-excited. Some of the excited states of neon corresponds to the same energy as the 2s1 and 2s0 of helium. Thus when helium atoms in level 2s1 and 2s0 collide with neon atoms in ground level an energy exchange takes place. This results in the excitation of neon atoms to level 2s and 3s and de-excitation of helium atoms to ground level. Thus discharge through gas mixture continuously populates the neon excited energy level 2s and 3s. This helps to create a state of population inversion between level 2s or 3s and 3p or 2p. Then semiconductor laser. Semiconductor laser today is one of the most important types of laser with its very important applications in fiber optic communication. The basic mechanism responsible for light emission from a semiconductor is the recombination of electrons and holes at a PN junction when a current is passed through a diode. These lasers use semiconductors as the lasing medium and the advantages are capability of direct modulation in the gigahertz region, its small size and low cost. This is the diagram of semiconductor laser. Ruby laser. Ruby laser is a three level solid state laser. Ruby is one of the few solid state laser that produce light in the visible range of the spectrum lasing at 694.3 nanometer in a deep red color with a very narrow line width of 0.53 nanometer. A ruby laser consists of ruby rod that must be pumped with very high energy usually from a flash tube to achieve a population inversion. The rod is placed between two meters forming an optical cavity which oscillates the light produced by rubies fluorescence causing stimulated emission. This is the diagram of ruby laser. Energy band diagram of ruby laser. The pumping of crystal is achieved by intense flash lamp. Energy level is achieved up to two energy level that is E3 and E4 band. E2 level acts as upper laser level. Transition takes place between E2 level and ground state E1 resulting in emission of photons of 694.3 nanometer wavelength. Liquid laser, that is dye laser. Fluorescent dyes are used to produce laser beams of many different colors. It can be tuned to produce almost any color of light by changing the type and concentration of the dye used. It is used in scientific research and in medicine where different types of living tissue respond to different wavelengths of laser light. Energy band diagram of dye laser. This is a four level energy diagram. Singlet states are S0, S1 and S2. Triplet states are T1 and T2. When total spin of excited electron in each molecule is zero, then singlet state occur. When total spin is unity, then triplet state occurs. Molecule is excited from ground state S0 to the first excitation state S1. Laser transition occurs from S1 level to S0 level. 
Triplet plates are not directly involved in laser action of dye laser, but there is small probability of transition from S1 to T1. Hence, we can conclude that the most common materials used for making LEDs are gallium arsenide, indium phosphide, gallium phosphide, and that for lasers are helium neon, ruby, gallium arsenide, and dyes. LEDs are used as indicators and also as replacement for traditional light source in general lighting. For example, PFL bulbs can be replaced by LED bulbs. Lasers are used as sources in optical fiber communications and also in surgeries like LASIK. These are the references. Thank you.